All right, last big piece to the puzzle, especially for the clean and jerk, is gonna be adding in the jerk here. Once we do that, we'll put everything together, start going through a few, a few of the full lifts. Um, first part, probably one of the most important parts, is figuring out the foot position once your client or athlete does jerk. Uh, so the way we like to do that is, have Christy, go ahead and put your hands on your hips. Yep, we're gonna have Christy dip just a little bit, and then she'll just kind of hop off the ground and we're gonna go into the top of a split squat. Okay, and what we'll do from there to check her, is Christy go ahead and go down into a split squat, and we wanna see that we got to 90-90 with everything there. So Christy actually looks pretty good. Yep, go ahead and come back up, Christy, and feet together. Yep, let's go ahead and do one that's too wide. Yep, she's gonna squat down that little bit, hop, split the feet, and now as you can see, she's got a little greater than 90, a little greater than 90 on both of those. Mm -hmm. All right, and then obviously the other one is feet too short. Let's go ahead and do one of those real quick. Yep. And she's got less than 90, less than 90. Uh, so we wouldn't want that either. So having your clients get really familiar with that position before you throw a barbell and go overhead with it um, is gonna be vital to their success in this part of the lift. Okay, so Christy's got the foot spacing down here uh, for the split jerk. I wanna get her a little familiar with the barbell before we start splitting the feet. So just trying to taking out uh, one of the things that could go wrong, getting her used to the barbell and the timing of when she's gonna have to catch it. Okay, so from here again, she's got elbows high, just like in our front squat. She maybe has a little more hold on the bar than she did before. Uh, from there, she's gonna squat down that little bit. And then she's really using the legs to give the bar momentum and kind of meet the bar overhead. Again, that top position should be the same as that we talked about in the snatch. She gets into what's called the slot and I shouldn't be able to see most of her ear from the side. You can come back down, Christy. Let's do one more there. Again, just kind of barely bending the knees. She should be in what looks like the power position there. Yep. And really driving the bar overhead with the legs rather than muscling it with the arms. And go ahead and relax. Okay, so as Christy's going through these push jerks, one thing that commonly comes up uh, is gonna be where the knees are traveling as she's dipping down, um, getting ready to drive the bar overhead. Okay, so if you were front squatting, we would want the knees to go forward over the toes. Can you go ahead and show that, Christy, just kind of without spiraling? Yep, so just like she was front squatting, right, the knees are going directly over the toes, nothing crazy is going on, the foot's staying stable. Um, with our push jerk, or when we go to split jerk, we're actually gonna spiral the knees out a little bit. Go ahead and show that, Christy. Yep, so you can see her knees are driving out a little bit. She's almost twisting the floor with her feet. Um, and the reason we do that is we don't want the bar di drifting forward at all as she's dipping. Let's go ahead and show that one more time. All right, so if I'm watching from the side, the bar's not moving forward or back at all. She's got a good uh, line of force here that she's gonna be able to develop to drive the barbell overhead. One more time, Christine, let's go overhead this time. And there we go. All right, so Christy kind of is familiar now with the timing of getting the bar overhead. We saw her spiral feet and her knees out, so the bar is not drifting forward as she's dipping. Um, and she's also able to get into the position that we would want to see. So now we're going to start to add in our foot position with the split jerk. So this is going to be the same dip. Knees are going to spiral out. She's going to drive the bar overhead and go into that split squat position that we were talking about. Do one more, Christy. Yep. So I'm gonna have you do one more and then let's actually go down into a split squat so we can recheck your foot width. Go ahead and go down. And it looks pretty good, 90-90 from this side or really, really close to it. Yep, there we go. So she's good to go. We can start throwing weight on the bar if it looks good. Uh, we can start adding it to the full list, which we're gonna see next. So Christy knows all the pieces now or she, she's at least familiar with them. Um, she's seen them. So now we're gonna start to smooth things out and start to get into a full lift here. Um, as we're going through the full lift, I still want her to pause at her knee on the way up. Looks good. Go ahead and roll into the power position. Looks good. Jump, shrug, and catch. Yep, and her catch looks good as well. Okay, so now over the, the next week, the next month, however long it may be, if I don't see Christy messing up going from the floor to her knee, we don't need to pause there anymore, right? So she can go from there to the power position. Pause. Looks good. Go ahead and go. Or if I don't see Christy messing up from her knee to the catch, we just need to pause going from the floor to the knee, right? So pausing at whatever position that client or athlete is messing up at, to making sure they start to own that position over time. So Christy, let's pause when you get to the knee and then we'll have you roll into it. So Christy, that looks good, go ahead. Yep, again, just having them pause at whatever position they seem to mess up, 
um, to make sure they own that position, get a better feeling for it over time. Okay, once I don't see her messing up at all, right, or messing up very minimally, we can just roll into a whole lift now, or at least a power clean, right, where she's catching it in about a quarter squat, nice and strong as she catches it. Again, if we were to slow it down or watch from the side here, she should still hit all those positions, even though things are smoothed out now. Good, beautiful. All right. And the other two parts for that lift would be a full clean and then going into a jerk. Okay, so Christy, we'll just go right into one full clean here. All right, the only difference is when the weight gets too heavy, you're not gonna be able to give the weight enough momentum to catch it up here in a quarter squat. Christy's gonna have to get under it if she had a lot of weight to meet the bar, just cause the bar's not gonna accelerate as high anymore. So she may have to catch it as far down as that, depending on how heavy the weight is. And then from there, going into the split jerk, which she's been working on. And there's our full lift for the clean and jerk. All right, last thing, going through the full snatch here. Um, again, Christy's familiar with all the pieces, so we just gotta make sure she's hitting the points and then we can smooth it out over time. Christy, go ahead and pause at your knee. Wanna make sure she's getting from the floor to her knee well. Position looks good. Uh, bar is at the knees, shins were vertical. It's able to roll forward, gets into that power position. Go ahead and jump and shrug. And she's able to catch overhead and hit that slot, right? Let's do one more like that, Christy. Again, if I don't, any part that we would see her messing up, I would just have her pause at that point every time. Once we smooth that out, she doesn't need to pause there anymore. Yep. Again, checking the positions that we've worked on to make sure she hits those. Christy, let's say that you, you don't mess up from the floor to your knee. So we can go right to the power position and then pause there for a second. Power position looks good. She can go ahead, jump, shrug, and catch. All right. And then last, so she's gone into a power snatch there. Let's go ahead and smooth it out and do one power snatch, Christy. So she's not messing up very much anymore. We can have her go into the full lift. Again, catching it in about a quarter squat. And coming right back up. There we go. And the only thing we would really add after that would be a full snatch. Again, same thing as the clean. She may have to sit down a little further if the bar doesn't have enough momentum anymore because the weight is heavy. She just has to get under it faster. Yep, to be able to hit the slot again, she's stable overhead and is able to stand it up there. Beautiful, thank you, Christy. All right, we've made it to the end of our three-part series on Olympic lifting here at iFastU. Um, we started with, do our cl clients qualify? Can they get overhead? Can they squat? And can they deadlift, right? In part two, we started to look at the positions and teaching the Olympic lifts from a top-down approach and making sure our clients and athletes can get into those positions each and every time they're going through the lifts. So here in part three, we added in the jerk and started to put all the pieces of the puzzle together to get to the full lift. So you guys should have an idea of how to take clients from walking through the door all the way to the full lift safely and effectively. All right, if you guys enjoyed the three-part series on Olympic lifting, um, and it helped you out, please feel free to spread the word about IFASU. If you don't want to spread the word, you can send donuts to 9402 Uptown Drive. They'll come to the front desk and I'll pick them up. So I appreciate that. Um, if you have questions, comments, or want to add anything, feel free to comment below or take it to the Facebook page. Um, we'll see you guys there. We'll catch you next month. Thanks.